this very special video that I'm recording on January the 8th, 2021. Last year, as you will know, has been a very difficult and challenging year. And January and this part of January can become very challenging. It was this time last year that I lost a very close and dear friend who took his own life. And I said at the time, walking in the hills of Manchester, because at that stage we could get out and about, we weren't confined due to lockdown, that there's over 800,000 people every single year take their own lives. Suicide is bigger as a collective than murder, car accidents and death by animals. So it's so little do we hear about the things that go on in this world other than the big headlines. And for me, suicide should be one of these big headlines. We know through research that 55% of the people who take their own lives is because of their own mindset, their, their psychology, their, 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 their minds. 45% you know, can be through chemical imbalance or illness. And we know that some of the biggest contributing factors to people taking their own lives is grief of a relationship, grief of a friendship, finance, shame, hope, direction, status. And we also know that the vulnerability or the lack of vulnerability where we have the ability to come out and talk to people and really just open our heart and say how we truly think is difficult and that's why in, in suicide in men is is massive because we're always told to man up you are meant to be the strongest how can I when I'm struggling go to somebody and tell them exactly how I feel because I should be a man I should be able to fight this well, I'm a warrior I'm, I'm a soldier So it's the ability to talk to people, the ability to help everybody. And I said this before, and I want to say it again. This video really is about helping everybody to each one reach one. So if we have a friend who is on their own, or we may feel is going through a difficult period, picking up that phone call and allowing them in that very safe and secure environment, maybe to open up to themselves, open up to their vulnerabilities and where they are. And we know by providing love, getting them to understand self-acceptance, that there is a meaning, there is hope, and that they can have this pride in themselves. And even if they're in a situation where maybe they've done something wrong or something's been done wrong to them, the ability to forgive, having forgiveness, respect in themselves, giving themselves a purpose and allowing your own personal compassion to those people is extremely important. We're going to be doing a meditation for everybody, for self-love. Because we all need it. We all need to get that love and self-acceptance and respect for each other, pride and forgive maybe some situations that have happened or occurred around us. The one thing that I always hear when we talk about suicide and, and, and the people who take their lives, and it happened to me on three occasions, and it's a word that always comes up in those three occasions, and it's a word unfortunately that's commonly put to people who take their lives, is the people are left behind are surprised. We're surprised that they did it. So even if you feel that somebody may be vulnerable or going through a difficult time, there are people who aren't, but we don't know what goes on inside everybody's minds or everybody's front door. So make those calls to those people. Each one reach out to somebody at this what can be a challenging time. We set 2021 in January with great ex expectation and ambition. Maybe, you know, people have started diets. I'm going to do a dry January, etc. I'm going to do exercise, blah, blah, blah. Anybody falling off the horse <coughs> thinking, what's the point? You know, how can I do this? Giving them hope, giving them love, providing with a purpose. I'm going to do a meditation now on self-love, which is important. And we'll come back and have a chat afterwards. But all I would urge you to do, and I, I, was, I was sort of thinking about this this morning, and I thought, shall I do it tomorrow? And I thought, no, I have to do it now. Who knows? That one phone call, this one video, 
may be the difference between somebody being here on January the 9th and 10th. It's important and it means the world to me having unfortunately been affected and being surprised that somebody who I loved and cared for dearly took their lives. I'm going to pop a picture up and we're going to go into a self-love meditation. So what I need to do is just get comfortable, sit in your chair and just take a deep breath in. And if we don't allow the natural love for ourselves to be expressed, love does not reveal itself or its beauty every day or very often in the day in our lives. So if we can get into this habit of giving ourselves self-love, giving ourselves some respect and acceptance and meaning and hope. And for the next 10 minutes, just get yourself into that relaxing position, removing any distractions for the duration of this session. And take the very first action in self-love right now. Your ability to breathe at will. In all kinds of ways. Understanding that our breath has been there literally for our entire lives. Changing as needed to the demand of the exciting circumstances and flowing effort effortlessly when we're resting. And we know that taking in multiple and full and deep breaths is proven to change our bodies and minds for the better. The power of five conscious breaths. Is something we're going to do now. So I want us to take in five full and very deep breaths, but I'm going to talk you through them and holding them for a moment at the top and then naturally exhaling. So one, just take a nice deep breath in now, expanding your belly and lungs as much as you can. Hold it and then exhale gently with relief. Then take another fresh deep breath in and feel all of that oxygen being supplied to your bloodstream. Holding it, soak it in, and then exhaling without any effort. And then the next breath, just inhaling in, just feeling that beautiful vibration inside you as you feel, fill your lungs with, with beautiful oxygen. And exhale. And five, just fully... Breathing in and feeling this beautiful energy inside you. And it's an act of self-love. Just pausing at the top and feeling your own love. But then inhale, exhale in complete relaxation. But now just let your breath flow at a pace without any effort from you now. And by doing so, you're proving you're capable of self-love. Deep breathing increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and it stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. And as we know, sometimes this system is referred to as the rest and digest system. And by breathing deeply and often, you're commanding your body to rest, which relaxes and rejuvenates you. This is self-love in its simplest form that anyone can do any time of the day. Now let's just honour ourselves by relaxing the mind a little bit further. And just notice now how your thoughts are rising in your mind, one after another. And just, if you want to see these thoughts, just see them come and see them go. And some of our thoughts just linger for some time and some thoughts only come for a split second. And if you can really focus you will notice even smaller thoughts, such as describing the world around you or labeling the things in your surroundings. And at this point, I want you just to let you hear your hearing become super alert and try and focus on some of the sounds around you. Maybe you can hear the sound of your own breath. Can you hear the nature nearby? or perhaps cars passing by, or people talking. Just go from sound to sound, focusing as only one at a time. 
and just stop focusing now on any one particular sound and just allow all the noises around you to come in equally. And every time they do, they almost act as tiny waves of relaxation, just calming your mind. And your mind relaxes and you start to activate your senses on command. So let's use the power of your amazing imagination ability, your visualization, your connection, in some instances, with spirit and the divine to this induction of self-love. And I want you to begin by imagining yourself full of self-abundance, full of abundance of this self-love. Seeing yourself now. Seeing yourself choosing all of these healthy foods and cooking at home so you know all the ingredients you're putting in the body is there to revitalize and to replenish you. Vividly see yourself eating this wonderful food. And when you eat well, see yourself enjoying these moments. You can feel the nutrition that's, and the choices you've made. You can feel it inside you. Imagine now how strong you are to avoid any unhealthy drinks or any junk foods. But see yourself in great, great detail, confidently saying no to anything that doesn't serve you. See yourself now. And, and feel how proud you are when you avoid eating something that's unhealthy. Eating healthily is an essential component in self-love. And another form of self-love is observing your mental chatter. And in order to have great self-love, you must expand the good things you feel about yourself and challenge any negative thoughts as soon as they rise. So just hear yourself saying, when I fully love myself, I'm able to fully love others. Deciding to love myself is a wonderful agreement. Each day, I allow my love for myself to grow more and more. I am worthy of love and I honour the joy that comes with it. I'm deciding to love myself unconditionally. No matter what happens, I feel wonderful. I deserve love and self-respect. I know that my self-esteem grows with my self-love. I love and I accept everything about myself. We'll say that again. I love and accept everything about myself. From this day forward, I will completely and always love myself. And today, I love myself even more than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. And I feel now that truly loving myself is easy for me. The more I love the self, the better my entire health will be. I love every moment of my existence, good or bad. Every part of me that makes me is encompassed with love. I have unconditional love with me that overflows in abundance to those around me. I love my full and grateful self-acceptance. I love the fact that my life is gonna produce meaning. I love the fact that I have hope. I love the fact that I have pride in myself. I love the fact that I can learn to forgive. I love the fact that I have respect for myself, that I have purpose, that I have compassion for myself. And I want you just now, just to visualize yourself sitting in your chair, just feeling this self-acceptance, feeling that the meaning in your life is gonna grow every day as we show attention to ourselves and our gift to develop. We have hope because our heart beats. We have hope because we have each other. We have hope because together we're stronger. 
We have hope because we have pride in ourselves. We have pride in our house, in the environment that's around us. We have respect for others. We have a purpose to be able to find our way to help others with compassion, with love, with forgiveness. And above all, we have ourselves. This wonderful gift that's been given to us by the divine. The gift of free will for us to make our own decisions going forward. And I want us to take a deep breath in. And as we do, we just feel this positive energy inside us. That we are loved. We are love. And we are loved. And no matter what happens, 2021 is the year where we respect ourselves. We move forward with hope, with pride, with meaning, with love, with forgiveness, with respect and with purpose. Even the days that go catastrophically wrong are moving us forward as we learn, we breathe and we grow. Just before we come back, I just want to see yourself stood amongst the people you love. Even if they've passed, bring them, call them in. And just look around and see everybody looking at you, smiling at you, clapping to you, telling you that you have all of these wonderful values, have all of these amazing emotions have all of these amazing abilities. We just need to believe in ourselves and practice our self-love. Just take a deep breath in. Open your eyes. Come back into the room. So I want this to be positive. I want this to be positive at the end of it. We've got hope. No matter what we've got, we've got hope. And somebody said to me, the darkest part of the night is just before the dawn. We always have hope. Let's go out there today. Let's pick up the phone. Let's get on Zoom and say hello to somebody and allow them if they want to express their vulnerability, to allow them to say, I've lost my hope. I have no meaning. I've lost my pride. Bah, 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 bah. And let's help them to regain these amazing gifts. It's all inside us. Our conscious mind, our conscious awareness is there for us. I recognize my friend today, Chris. And I say, hello, buddy. You did surprise me. But I hope this video and many other videos and the amazing work other people do means that we can learn and we can help others to make the most of their lives whatever we have be love and give love thanks for watching take care please 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 do the meditation and just give somebody a call